Right, we're going to cook my chicken livers with the brandy and cream sauce. Really, really nice, really, really rich, perfect for a starter or a nice light lunch. First off, we need to get the hob on. We turn your hob on and a large knob of butter. You see, probably a little bit more than that. You can see how much butter I'm using. So into the pan it goes, and we'll just leave that to just to foam up whilst we go and um, season up the, the chicken. Right, here they are. This is such a great one that I was so, I have such bad memories of childhood, sorry mum, um, of livers and just being dry and like leather and horrible. And I tried it, it's just lovely. So a good pinch of salt, and it really does take salt very, very well. And twist of pepper. And we're done. And we're just going to take this over to the work surface and uh, uh, to the hob and get it cooking. So just swirl around your butter, just need your butter to, to start foaming. We're all not quite there yet. Get the pan nice and hot. Not one of the more diet foods, but uh, not every food can be, and it's delicious. So then just in with the livers, and just leave them, they'll cook away nicely. I'm just going to get rid of my, um, my chopping board. You don't need to do anything to the livers at this stage. Right, just give them a, a little turn. And just be careful with them because they can pop a little bit. So just, well, let's see, there you go. You don't want to get burned. I just told my camera lady to move back because I didn't want her to get burned. But don't worry about that. They won't, they won't go over that. Right, so we'll just leave those cooking away and we're going to go and just chop the parsley for the salt. So get the parsley. Right, and actually before we do that we need to pop the chia batter under the, uh, I, if you can put it in your toaster, great, if not, pop it in the, um, under the grill. So just pop these on, hopefully I've cut them thin enough. And you don't want to toast them properly, you just want to toast them to, so it's just slightly, um, just slightly toasted on the outside. Okay. Quick chop of the parsley and we'll go back and check on our uh, chicken livers. Just roughly chop it, nothing too dramatic. It's just a small handful of parsley. Right. Give these uh, a toss around. Right, these will almost be there. You do want them nice and pink. That's absolutely perfect and absolutely fine with chicken livers. Yeah, well, these are looking nice. If you haven't got a, a bowl ready to, to put them in to rest whilst we make the sauce, go and get one now. These are about ready. So hopefully it should look like this. So if you were to press them, definitely don't burn yourself, but they'll still have a lot of give in them. Right. I'm going to just turn the heat off for a second and put these into the bowl. Without burning myself. And we're going to add these back to the sauce later just to um, 
just to say, cool down slightly if your bowl's not hot enough, but don't worry about that at all at this stage. Right, the um, next off, we're just going to check the chia batter. So that should be just about done. So, I mean, my toast is useless, so you'll have to go with that. Right, yeah, that's about right. It's just slightly, gone just slightly crispy, almost like it's stale on the outside, but still fine in the, in the middle. So we'll just take these out, ready. And now we're going to just take the, the parsley and the cream and the brandy and we're going to make our sauce. Right, I've got enough hands. Now, take this over to the side. The shakiness isn't to do with the brandy, don't worry. Right, back with the heat on and we're just going to flame off the brandy. And it looks great, if, but be careful, okay, because you get quite a large um, a flame from it. So I'm just going to pour it in. It's probably best if you watch this before. You've probably seen it done, but be careful. I have to move mine away from underneath the hob. You'll see. So in with the brandy, and then just tip it towards the flame. And there you go. And that's it. And see, all you're left with now is you've burnt off all the alcohol, that's what the flame is, and you're just left with a really nice um, flavour of the brandy. Then quite simply, it's just in with the cream. Oh, try not to get it everywhere, I'm going to get told off. Give it a stir. And this is still on the full heat, because you're going to let this bubble up nicely. The, the cream. You've got your chicken livers that are resting nicely, so you don't need to do anything at the sides, just leave it, give it the occasional stir and just let it bubble, just so it just thickens slightly. And hopefully you haven't burnt your house down by now. Right, we're almost there. I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt, just a little pinch of salt and a twist of pepper to that and we'll be done. Almost forgot about the parsley. So just a little pinch of salt and a twist of pepper. Right, so turn off the heat and we'll just add the parsley and then the chicken livers back in. Stir. And back in with the chicken livers and you know, all the nice juices. Don't worry the colour of them, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, and just give that a stir through. And we're ready to plate. So if you take your pan over to the work surface, we'll plate this up. Create some room. Right. The chibat on the plate, and then just the livers on top. And then just drizzled sauce all over it. doesn't quite work. So just drizzle it with a spoon. There we go. And be nice and generous with it. And that's it. Done. Hope you enjoy it.